This AI agent does everything and I'm going to show you how each component works. But first, we're going to start off with this basic orchestrator agent, which makes us part one of the ultimate AI agent series. I'm really excited for this because this is just the starting template that we've got. Got to see of Nate Herc. In future, I plan to add in a Notion agent over here, my own article automation over here, maybe throw in some sales lead generations over here, which can automate an entire sales team and much, much more. If you have any other ideas of how we can expand this, then comment down below. All right, so I'm going to execute this workflow over here. And first up, I'm going to send a message. So this is a Telegram bot that I created using the bot father. I'm not going to cover the tutorial of how to set everything up because there's plenty of tutorials online on how to set up your credentials for Telegram, Google Drive, and everything else. But I'll have detailed instructions and links in my corporate automation library. So getting back to the demo, I'm going to say, what can you do? So that will trigger this webhook over here. Now, just keep in mind, that if you're running this locally, so I'm running this on my Raspberry Pi, you'll need to make sure that you set this up with ngrok. So what it does is that it forwards my local IP to a public IP that I can use anywhere around the world. So I essentially asked AI in cursor to set this up for me, so that wasn't a problem. But if you're using this in the N10 cloud, then you shouldn't have a problem with this. So as you can see, it's gotten all of my details from the prompt, which is what can you do? Got my name, surname, as well as my username on telegram we go to this switch node which says if it's a photo then go through this workflow otherwise send a text straight to the ai agent so what this flow workflow will do is if i send a picture it will download the file save it into google drive set our variables over here and then send it to the ai agent for processing so in this ultimate ai agent so this is known as the orchestrator agent you can essentially think of the manager of that particular company and assigns tasks to its subordinates accordingly depending on the task that you need done so the prompt that i use here it's a very basic one we will expand on it in future saying that you are the ultimate manager agent for augmented ai you are addressing Ritesh Kanji, the founder of Augmented AI. Your job is to help the user out with the task by using your tools to delegate the task to the correct tool. So obviously we don't have tools right now, but we'll be adding them very soon. You should never be writing emails or creating summaries. Your sole responsibility is to use the correct tool. So this is quite important, especially if you don't want this particular agent to do any tasks, you want it to delegate the tasks which are more specialized and have access to those tools for that specific AI agent. And then I gave it this prompt over here to say, so use the thinking tool. And then we have this prompt over here, which says, think the so users when you feel stuck and need to think about what to do next. So that is this little think tool over here. It essentially gives the AI the ability to reason and figure out what exactly it needs to do so you can delegate the task properly. Over here, I'm using a GPT-5 model via Open Router. You can select just about any model you want from OpenAI to Quinn, even use some free models at the risk of your privacy, of course. And you can test which models work best for your applications. And we have a fallback model should any of these large language models not be available. I have simple memory with a context window length of 50. So if you pass the 50 message length, it will then uh, erase the first message and then start overwriting all of the other messages so you can think of it as a buffer and this buffer will essentially be filled up and the window will shift accordingly over the past 50 messages the larger your context window the more tokens you would use obviously all right then we go into cleanup we make sure that we have everything separated if we need to for our logging that goes over here to insert row so data tables recently got released and it's pretty cool before you'd use something like google sheets which meant that you'd have to set up a sheet set up all of the rows and that it was a bit of a hassle if you want to set up your data tables you'd have to go over here to data tables right over here you can say create data table now i already have my data table created so this is what it looks like we have the id we have the timestamps of when it was created the input the output what actions it used and you can add in any other information that you'd want to log so going back to this data table i've got the timestamp so it must get the current time right now this looks about correct it's going to log the specific workflow the tool that has been used it'll also give the output of the ai agent what actions or other tools were used as well as the amount of tokens that we have consumed this is quite important because if you're using this ai agent we want to understand 
how much it's costing us to use this AI agent via the APIs. And then finally, we send a text message back to Telegram. Now, if things didn't work out, it'll go through the same workflow and just send an error message. This is what it looks like on this side. Now, let's see the message that we got on the output of our business bot over here. So it says, Ritesh, which is my name. I am your ultimate AI manager agent from Augmented AI. I can coordinate, prioritize, and delegate across product, engineering, growth ops, and hiring. Quick summary of my capabilities and tell me which one you want help with. So this is all great and all, but I don't think it does most of it. But that's all right, because we're going to add in all of the tools in the next video. So if you want to get this entire AI agent workflow, you can head over to our corporate automation library. We currently have over 342 members in the corporate automation library. We have many AI automations from creating your first AI agent to LinkedIn post generation, AI content system workflows, marketing and growth from creating your sales automation all the way to scraping leads and reaching them with AI and then comment AI automation down below to get all of this workflows, system prompts that I use as well as some of our free NATN templates and automations. To learn how we add in this email agent, check this next video right up here.